Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we are talking about clearing out the clutter in our purses and wallets. Can you easily find your credit card when you need it? Are you carrying around dried up pens or stretched out hair bands? What is your money in your wallet saying to the universe? Let's begin our month focusing on 10 minute decluttering tips. Are you ready to clear your clutter and share your gifts with the world? Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., join me on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out as I teach you how to navigate the waters to declutter your life, get organized, and become more mindful. I'm an award-winning professional organizer, author, and certified life coach, and I destroy the box and examine clutter in all areas. Every episode, I'll give you take action steps that you can easily apply to your life. Come on, let's get started. It's back. For the last couple of years, I have done quick 10 minute tips you can do to declutter your life. Here in Raleigh in July, it's hot and it's humid and I understand why they don't like to move in the South. You can't. And for my listeners in, that are enjoying winter right now, eh, it's kind of cold in your burr, burr, burr. So I want you to continue clearing your clutter, but I also want you to have a break and have fun. And so here are just things you can do really quickly so you keep moving forward, but you don't feel overwhelmed like you have to do a ton of stuff. Don't let everything fall by the side, but do a little bit of something each week. I love this month because there are many small things that can add up and build your confidence, especially if you haven't cleared clutter in a while and get overwhelmed easily. Today's episode was inspired by an interview I did. I was told, please come up with something that could be done in five minutes. And it was really interesting. This is the first time where I've interviewed, the woman interviewed me and it she put you put me on hold for five minutes. So it was literally designed that people would take the time right now and take action, which I thought was really fantastic. But it was really interesting having five minutes of silence. I don't know how well that would play out. And so I thought, wow, this would be great for the 10 minute decluttering month and it'll be really groovy. It's also inspired by my mother. My mom's fantastic. She's someone who is never going to slow down. And she was telling me she went to an appointment and after an hour of being late, she just was like, I have other stuff to do. I have to get up and go. And I thought, well, you could have decluttered your purse then. So she kind of inspired this episode as well. All right, let's get started. We're going to clear out our wallets or purses. Any book you read about feng shui talks about clearing clutter as being the first step. The first step, take everything out of your purse or wallet. I'm going to suggest that you do this on a flat surface. You might want to put out a towel or a dishcloth if you're going to have a lot of bits and pieces for easy cleanup. I have to admit I need to do that with my purse because sometimes I can just throw something in. I'm really, really uptight about recycling everything. So I see something and if it's not too trashy trash, honestly, I tend to pick it up to throw it away later because it drives me nuts so to see trash on the ground. You're going to take your purse or your wallet. You perhaps are have your dish towel out or your regular old towel that you can throw in the wash afterwards. So turn out your purse or your wallet and bonus points if you want to do both. So you'll make sure, if, especially if it's your purse, shake it out. Make sure you clear the pockets, you get everything out. If your purse or wallet is a bit dusty, give it a good shake, give it a good dust, take a cloth, get in there and give it a quick clean. Once you have everything out, the second step is to sort it, all your stuff, into categories that make sense to you. You might have categories like makeup, finances, hair, and business. That's what I have in my purse. Whatever makes sense to you. Sort everything that's in your purse or wallet into a category. Are you tired of losing money because you aren't organized? Do you show up late because you can't find your keys to quickly get out of the house? Are you living life overwhelmed because you can't easily find what you need when you need it? Would you like to have peace of mind? Go to reawakenyourbrilliance.com to learn how I can support you. Now 
is the time to purge or recycle? Is it you? And I have to admit, I'm going to be raising my hand on a few of these. Do you have worn out hair bands, expired credit cards, old receipts, dried up gum, non-working pens? Lots of us are probably carrying that kind of stuff around. Now is the time to let that go. While you are purging through your purse or wallet, is there anything you can simplify? For example, have you considered having one or two credit cards instead of many? Take the time now to transfer any notes, business cards, and receipts that you may have had in your purse or wallet. Once you've purged everything, Organize what you have left. In your wallet, make sure your most frequently used cards are where you can reach them easily. Now for me, I have, my wallet has a cutout, so my license, I can show that, although I found more often they're asking you to remove your license and looking at it. I also have my debit card because I use that frequently and then I have invested in a bigger wallet because I needed more room. And so on one side of my credit cards, I have business, and then the other side are my personal credit cards because I wanna make sure that I'm not making a mistake and putting a business purchase on a personal credit card or vice versa. I just am very kind of uptight about it, like to keep that really clean. If you're overloaded with reward cards, check out Key Ring Reward Cards or Stow Card, that's S-T-O-C-A-R-D for Android, to store all of those reward cards electronically. That can lift a lot of weight from your purse or wallet. For your purse, consider using pockets to put things in the same place every time. For example, your keys in the small zippered pocket or your phone in one of the side pockets. That way you will know where they are if you keep putting them back into their home. Again, the key is putting it back into its home every single time. The more you do that, the more likely you're going to do that. Kind of, you get on autopilot, no, boom, that's where the keys go. Boom, that's where the phone goes. You can also use purse organizers or little containers. I have my change in a change purse. I also have a business card holder and a small container for pens, highlighters, and something to hold receipts. I have a mini makeup carrier as well. That way, everything is organized and easy to find. The more you maintain your purse or wallet, the less you will have to declutter and organize it. Once you've done this, make sure you clean out every six months or more frequently if you tend to clutter your purse or wallet a lot. Do this while watching commercials or like my mother, if you're stuck in the doctor's office. Instead of stewing and getting bent out of shape, Organize your wallet and purse. Tip, make sure all your money is neat and organized and all the bills are facing the same way. If you are respectful of the money you have now, that signals to the universe you are ready and open to have more money. Another tip, Evernote is a great all-around app that has a wonderful search capability and may be able to help you reduce your clutter in your purse or wallet. Check it out. Take action from today's podcast. Choose if you're going to clean out your purse or wallet, or if you're going to go for it and do both. Toss all the things you aren't using, aren't working, or are junk. Is there any way you can simplify what you're carrying around? Organize what you have left. Utilize those pockets and consistently put things back. Place your money back neatly into your wallet or purse. Keep that abundance flowing. On our next episode, we're talking about clearing our clutter by saying no. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Are you ready to live a more joyful and fulfilling life? Sign up for our newsletter at reawakenyourbrilliance.com and receive a free copy of 10 Steps to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. If you enjoyed today's episode, I would love it if you would rate and review the show because it really helps us in the search ranking. See you next Tuesday at one o'clock. Remember, when you clear your clutter, you can create the life you desire. Mm -hmm.